So whenever I like to plan for National Novel Writing Month, I actually plan pretty sparingly in terms of I don't write down so many things that are strict guidelines. I write basic events down. So that way when I'm working and writing during National Novel Writing Month, I can let things grow and happen on their own. And that's one of the things I really love about at least the way that I storyboard and plot out my novel is yes, there are key points and events that I want to have happen, but at the same time, I want things to be organic. I want them to grow and be able to bend and move however the plot happens to go while I'm writing throughout the month. Because a lot of things happen in the course of a month. And over the course of that month, you could start out with a novel that is meant to be a comedy and just funny and all of a sudden it turns into a very serious thing that you weren't exactly intending, which I've had happen. Originally my 2010 NaNoWriMo was actually supposed to be a pretty big comedy. It was just kind of a rom-com and then it turned into this really really important story that I really want to get published. It's actually one of the only ones from NaNoWriMo that I would like to get published. A few of my others, sure, I wouldn't mind, but they're not necessarily something that I've thought a lot about. But the thing is, a novel needs to grow organically because in NaNoWriMo there, there are two categories of writers. There are pantsers, who people that basically at the start of midnight on November 1st have almost no idea what's going on. And then there are plotters. Now granted, the spectrum for those is pretty wide because Pantsers can plan maybe a little bit, like for example, if they just have one sentence that they're basing their entire novel on, then sure, I technically count that as pantsing because you're only going off of one sentence, you haven't thought too much about your novel, so hey, you're gonna take this one sentence, you're gonna turn it into a plot, and bam, you're gonna use that your entire month. Even if you get stuck, that is your basic plot, but it's enough that you're still not knowing what's going to happen. You have the people that plot a lot, who do really strict outlines for every chapter, every scene, every second of their novel. They know what's going to happen. And to me, that that feels too rigid. That feels like you're putting everything in a box and you're leaving it there, and that's all you're doing, is you're keeping yourself in the box. And to me, writing is so not in the box. It's not something that you can keep inside this box and just rein in your ideas, it's something that you have to let happen, and if a character doesn't feel right, then obviously you shouldn't let them stay in the box that you've written for them. You should let them go and be something else. So hopefully I'll get the post-it notes up this week. I'm starting my job on Monday, and it'll be interesting, and there's a lot of things going on this week, but I do have plans to get this post-it note thing up for you guys, because it's just what I do, and I am kind of in the middle of the spectrum in that, like I said, I like things to be organic, I like, but I also like plotting. And I only plot key points, so to get from A to B and from B to Z, there's a lot of places in between that I don't know what's going to happen. So, anyway, this is probably the first or third or fifth or I don't even know anymore vlog about NaNoWriMo, so stay excellent and DVDA. <laughs>